Night Lager. We're going in with that Chud's Rub. Salty, peppery, all purposey, and a knife. So before we get into the protein, let's go ahead and prep the brand new Monument Grills Denali 405 with smart temperature technology and rotisserie. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to be using on this cook is the Smokums from Bear Mountain. Uh, it's it's going to add some smoke to this cook in a gas grill. So I'm going to go ahead and prep the grill. I'm going to remove that top rack. And I'm planning on placing a Smokum on, on one of the burners. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna end up just using uh, the burners on both ends, and I'm not gonna mess with the ones in the middle. The, the ones in the middle are gonna be off. Uh, but this says that uh, you get up to 45 minutes of real smoke, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a drip tray right there just to kind of keep things clean, keep the cleanup to a minimum. And here is the chicken. Uh, nice natural chicken from my local HEB. I'm gonna open this thing up, do uh, some simple trimming, blot it dry for a minute, uh, cut off some of these uh, skin pieces that are just hanging out. And this chicken was special, it had two hearts. What the heck? This chicken had two hearts. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off a little bit more skin. And, uh, Come in with that chud rub, but I'm gonna get the the pits, those crevices that that like to hide before I twine it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this breast really tight so it'll plump it up. You see that? You see how it plumped it up? I'm gonna get my knot in there, and with that same string, I am then going to tie the legs together just to kind of keep it together on that rotisserie. Just like that, and tuck the wing tips to the back. And that's it. Now I can come in with that chud rub and just hit it. And the first thing I've noticed on this chud rub, I've never used it, it's my first time, um, has a, a very good scent to it. I can't wait to try this thing. So I've got the chicken pretty much covered up with some chud rub. And I'm going to put it on the rotisserie. And then press it on there nice and firmly. Same with the top spike. Nice and firm. Get it in there. Touch up a couple of spots, which that, that dropped uh, some of the rub. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and remove one of the grill grates and put the drip pan underneath the other two so that the chicken actually has more room for it to rotate. And I also decided to go with the second smokum on the far right that you see. So I've got two smokums, um, one on each end, and a drip pan, and we're ready to get this thing cooking. Go ahead and touch it up one more time. Uh, I'm assuming uh, this is my very first time rotisserieing a chicken So my way of thinking is I'm probably gonna lose a lot of the rub when it's uh, Rolling the way that it's doing once the juices start coming. So I laid it on there uh, pretty good And I think it's a I think it's a pretty clean setup I think this is gonna work out nicely Turn that uh, grill on, the burner. Remember, I'm just gonna use the, the burners on both ends. Nothing in the center. Let's go ahead and turn on this uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, temperature, smart feature. And let's go ahead and pour a beer in that, in that drip pan just to get some steam action going on. So from some delicious beer coming from Yungling, Lager Light. Deliciousness. And we're going to go back and check it. And you can see that the smokums are doing exactly what they say they do. 
smoking up a storm. Smelled fantastic. Um, the grill is telling me here that it's hovering at like 320. Well, it was going up to like 345, uh, 350. But when I, you know, the temperature would go down every time I'd open it. But uh, just take a look at that chicken. Look what it's doing. And this thing is looking beautiful. It smells so delicious. Um, I'm happy with the way this is working out so far. Look at that chicken. My goodness. So we're going to go ahead and temp probe it. As you can see, the temp's up there. A couple of spots that are still reading like in the upper 150s. But so what I'm going to do is just leave it in here for another 15 minutes after this point here. And here it is, guys. This is 15 minutes later. Look at that color. Look at that crust. My goodness, if you guys could smell this. All those juices just... Oh, man. <laughs> I think my whole street could smell this chicken. I'm telling you, every time I'd go out there, it was it was so strange because, you know, it's a gas grill and I'm so used to running pellet grills and I've got it smoking like a pellet grill, but there's no sound. <laughs> so, uh, I enjoyed this cook. It's time to pull this bird off. It is done. 100% done. And that's a close-up of the finished product. Um, I'm gonna put it in that foil tray and look at, just look at that chicken. I, I couldn't be happier with this cook. I, I, this was a successful cook for my very first time ever rotisserieing a chicken. Um, and guys, I'm gonna tell you, the chud rub is no joke. It's got a fantastic flavor, very savory. Uh, very delicious flavor profile coming off that chud rub. That stuff is just fantastic. So that's it, you guys. I, I hope you like this cook. We enjoyed this chicken. It was up there as one of the best chickens that I have ever done. Um, go out there, get you some chud rub, and, and rotisserie yourself a chicken. <laughs> you guys are going to love it, man. Peace out. Thank you.